This week, China and the U.S. reached a historic agreement to cut carbon emissions. The leader of ISIS may have been killed in an airstrike, and a spacecraft landed on a comet 300 million miles away. But that ass, though. <laughs> According to officials at the CDC, the first case of Ebola in the U.S. has been diagnosed in Texas. And according to WebMD, you already have it. <laughs> Hillary Clinton recently fueled speculation that she may run for president when she made an appearance in Iowa and said, hello, Iowa, I'm back. Though, if I remember 2008 correctly, that's not as effective as saying, hello, Iowa, I'm black. <laughs> Officials have begun screening for Ebola at New York's JFK Airport for all travelers arriving from West Africa. They're focusing on JFK because not even Ebola would go to LaGuardia. According to a new phone poll, 45% of Americans are concerned that they'll get Ebola. The other 55% wouldn't answer the phone because they thought that might be the way you get Ebola. <laughs> And President Obama urged Americans to spread the word and check their insurance options on healthcare.gov. Except they can't because someone broke the internet. <laughs> okay, I, I promise that was the last one. What that ass though. So while I may never forgive Bill Cosby, hopefully someday I can forgive Dr. Huxtable. I mean, I know it's not the same thing, but I forgave Kramer. Oh. <laughs> In a speech this week, in a speech this week, Hillary Clinton stressed the need for compromise in Washington, saying she hopes to lead the country into, quote, a warm purple space, which is the same line Grimace uses to get you into his windowless van. In other news, a major power outage struck Detroit this week, leaving roughly 100 buildings without power. The problem will be fixed once someone in Detroit notices the difference. <laughs> Prince William and Kate Middleton visited New York City this week. While they were here, they saw the Brooklyn Nets play against LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron finished with 18 points, four rebounds, and one steal. <laughs> The NFL is investigating claims that the New England Patriots deflated game balls before the a AFC Championship win. Man. That Bill Belichick is always has a trick up his no sleeves. <laughs> the Patriots, of course, deny the cheating accusations, saying the only deflated balls they have are because of steroids. <laughs> it was announced that Pope Francis will visit New York City in September and hold a mass in Madison Square Garden, because the Pope always tries to go where people are suffering the most. <laughs> A Delta airplane skidded off a snowy runway while landing at New York's LaGuardia Airport, slamming through a fence and almost falling into the bay. But the good news is, the pilot didn't even spill his drink. <laughs> the head of the House committee investigating the Benghazi attack said Friday that Hillary Clinton wiped her personal email server clean, permanently deleting all her emails. So at least one Clinton has learned how to wipe something clean. <laughs> Despite Hillary Clinton's claims that she used her personal email while Secretary of State to avoid carrying more than one device, a new report shows that she emailed with her iPad in addition to her BlackBerry. Even more alarming, her email signature was sent from my Benghazi cover-up device. <laughs> Former Ravens linebacker Ray Lewis spoke out against the violence in Baltimore, saying violence is not the answer. Unless, of course, the question is, what made Ray Lewis super rich? <laughs> A new poll shows that Hillary Clinton's poll numbers have dropped two points since she made her presidential campaign official. Because for some reason, once a woman makes it official, we suddenly start to lose interest. <laughs> Jeb Bush said in an interview this week that, like his brother, he would have authorized the invasion of Iraq, though he wouldn't have done it for the same reason George did, to capture the genie from Aladdin. <laughs> this Wednesday was a day without a woman, sponsored by Jergens Lotion. Jergens, you know what it's for. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
This week, our military dropped the mother of all bombs in Afghanistan. The bomb cost $16 million and reportedly took out 94 members of ISIS, which doesn't sound that efficient. But remember, Fox News spent $13 million just to get rid of five women. <laughs> The White House celebrated Cinco de Mayo on Friday by giving away hundreds of free trips to Mexico. <laughs> Education Secretary Betsy DeVos was booed while giving a commencement speech at the historically all-black Bethune-Cookman University. It was the most booing from an all-black audience since I let Colin open for me at the Apollo. <laughs> A Kickstarter project has been launched to create a line of rompers for men called Romp Him. As in, the victim of the beating was wearing a Romp Him. This Wednesday was National Walkout Day. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong picture. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Vanessa Trump... <laughs> You know what we do here, right? <laughs> Vanessa Trump filed for divorce from her husband, Donald Trump Jr. It's a tough break, but I'm sure he'll take it on the no chin. <laughs> the students at Stoneman Douglas High School face new security precautions, including a rule requiring everyone to wear clear book bags. Is that supposed to keep guns out? Nobody comes to school with a gun and their books. When a mailman goes postal, he doesn't also finish his route. <laughs> A teacher in Oklahoma who was participating in the statewide teacher walkout was arrested for having sex with a student. Worse, she had to pay for her own supplies. <laughs> for You're shame. Wrong. You're wrong about that. That's funny. A Colombian veterinarian has been charged with allegedly smuggling heroin inside of puppies. This according to the very dark sequel to The Secret Life of Pets. <laughs> Police arrested a legless woman in Florida who was wanted for skipping a court date. It's a rare case of a legless person skipping. <laughs> I'm not above that joke at all. <laughs> Earlier today, Suits actress Meghan Markle married some unemployed dude who still lives with his grandma. Pope Francis this week criticized the magazine Charlie Hebdo by saying, you can't make a toy out of religions. And then he put on his giant hat, grabbed his wand, and went back to his golden castle. <laughs> Apple has introduced a new line of emojis to represent people with disabilities, such as a person in a wheelchair, or someone who is deaf, or the governor of Virginia. <laughs> New York City lawmakers have also proposed a new law that would change the sound of emergency vehicle sirens to resemble those used in Europe. That way, when you can spend your ride in the ambulance pretending you have universal health care. <laughs> R. Kelly has faced a string of financial problems, including unpaid child support. Although for R. Kelly, unpaid child support is also alimony. <laughs> but do you get it? <laughs> This Wednesday was Ash Wednesday, the day where white people show their support for 21 Savage. <laughs> Singer Lance Morris had announced on Instagram Monday that she is pregnant. I guess she forgot to take her jagged little pill. <laughs> According to reports, Kim Jong-un has not been seen in public for over a month after injuring his ankles. And not, as I had hoped, because he's traveling around the world in Dennis Rodman's backpack. In other Apple news, the company has strengthened security for its iCloud storage system in response to the recent hacking of celebrity nude photos. But if you really don't want anyone to see your naked photos, you could just hide them in that free U2 album. The White House is denying claims that it covered up evidence of Secret Service agents sleeping with a prostitute in 2012, which apparently was the last time the Secret Service was on top of anything. <laughs> a bakery in Texas has created a new dessert that is a pumpkin pie inside of a pumpkin spice cake that is on top of a pecan pie inside a chocolate cake and topped by an apple pie inside a cake. It's what Texans are calling diet cake. <laughs> The U.S. and China signed a historic agreement to cut greenhouse gases by the year 2030. 
Sooner, screamed this polar bear. <laughs> Scientists say that when people French kiss, they transfer over 80 million bacteria. This according to a recent study conducted on your mama. <laughs> According to a new study, marijuana is the safest recreational drug people can use. Huh, interesting, said a million black dudes in jail for marijuana. <laughs> According to a recently released report, authorities in 2009 stopped a terrorist plot to bomb Oprah Winfrey Studios, which explains why Oprah was always saying, everybody look under your seats. <laughs> Dick Cheney criticized the Senate report on CIA interrogation methods as, quote, a bunch of hooey. Cheney also complained that the report's description of torture, quote, barely got me hard. <laughs> King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia died this week at the age of 90 after he was run over by a terrible woman driver. <laughs> The artist who painted Bill Clinton's official portrait revealed that he painted a shadow in the, in the shape of the dress to represent affairs with Monica Lewinsky. Also, it's subtle, but if you look very closely at the painting, you can see that Clinton is not wearing pants. <laughs> The artist who painted Bill Clinton's official portrait revealed that he painted a shadow in the, in the shape of the dress to represent affairs with Monica Lewinsky. Also, it's subtle, but if you look very closely at the painting, you can see that Clinton is not wearing pants. <laughs> New Jersey Senator Robert Menendez was indicted this week on federal corruption charges. It's no surprise, considering that a senator taking a bribe is the New Jersey state seal. <laughs> Apple reported earnings of over $194 billion this quarter after the company sold more than 61 million, 61 million iPhones. And not to be undone, Samsung is also a company. <laughs> The royal family announced that the name of Prince William and Kate's baby girl is Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. They chose the name Diana for William's mother, Elizabeth for his grandmother, and Charlotte for, of course, the 1992 Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> Jeb Bush was also criticized at a town hall event in Nevada when a college student said that his brother George W. Bush created ISIS. But that's really not fair, you know? It's, it's more like he co-created it. <laughs> It was reported that Jennifer Lopez is now dating Alex Rodriguez. J-Lo and A-Rod go by the cool celebrity couple name of, you guessed it, Elena Fix Lodripez. <laughs> the bomb hit ISIS-K, which is a regional division of ISIS, and coincidentally, Kellogg's least popular breakfast cereal. <laughs> A woman arrested for drunk driving in Pennsylvania falsely told police that her name was Hillary Clinton. <laughs> police knew it wasn't her, though, because Hillary Clinton would never go to Pennsylvania. Oh. Oh. Aunt Jemima is recalling several breakfast food products because they might contain Listeria, who I'm guessing is Jemima's sister. <laughs> A new gym has opened in New York called Con Body, which looks like a prison and features workouts developed by former inmates. So you might want to shower at home. <laughs> Taco Bell is uh, selling a strawberry Skittles freeze made with Skittles candy. You know, Mexican food. <laughs> During the Masters tournament, golfer Tony Finau sprained his ankle while celebrating a hole-in-one. So, no, golfers are not athletes. <laughs> a new yoga class is being offered in New York in which people exercise with goats. The way it works is, it doesn't. That <laughs> <laughs> was back to me. A man in Kansas was arrested after he was caught having sex with the tailpipe of a car. The sex was described as exhausting. <laughs> The CEO of Starbucks said that no one would ever again be forced to buy an item before using one of their restrooms. At least that's what the guy who cleans the Starbucks bathroom wrote in his suicide note. <laughs> American Airlines has revised the guidelines to ban passengers from bringing goats and hedgehogs on board as emotional support animals. <laughs> Meanwhile, over at Spirit Airlines, it's still a full-on Noah's Ark. <laughs> 
It was announced that Idina Menzel will sing the national anthem at this year's Super Bowl. Then she'll sing Let It Go as a tribute to the NFL's domestic violence policy. <laughs> Delta Airlines has introduced a new plane that features windows in the bathrooms. Unfortunately, they face into the cabin. <laughs> the FBI is investigating whether singer-songwriter Ryan Adams committed a crime by engaging in sexually explicit communications with a 14-year-old fan. Just another example of a white musician doing something a black musician did first. <laughs> Well, the... in an effort to compete with Victoria's Secret, Target has launched a new bra and underwear brand for women. It's the lingerie that'll have your man saying, not tonight. <laughs> Last week, HBO aired Leaving Neverland, a documentary detailing multiple child molestation charges against Michael Jackson. And they say this doc has done more damage to Michael Jackson than his last doc, Dr. Conrad Murray. <laughs> Police in, Florida, police in Florida say that the owner of a pet zebra shot and killed the animal after it escaped from its enclosure, finally answering the question, what's black and white and red all over? <laughs> New York's famed Carnegie Deli has introduced a new sandwich featuring a massive tower of turkey and bacon, which they call the Derek Jeter Triple Club. They named it for Jeter because after you eat it, you'll take a legendary number two. <laughs> Congratulations to Chelsea Clinton, who gave birth to a baby girl on Friday. A new grandmother, Hillary Clinton, said she couldn't be any happier unless the baby was a Latina in a swing state. <laughs> This weekend is New York Comic Con, the annual gathering of people whose comic books and genitals are kept in mint condition. <laughs> According to a new study of fossils, the act of sex used by humans was pioneered by an ancient armored fish called placoderms about 385 million years ago. But it wasn't perfected until last night by your mama. <laughs> The European Space Agency said that the landing of a spacecraft on a comet this week was rougher than they initially thought, with the probe bouncing twice before landing. Only twice, said Spirit Airlines. <laughs> a new report lists Madison, Wisconsin as the best city in the country for retirees to live, while the worst city for retirees is Loud Surprise, Arkansas. <laughs> Mexican officials are upset with Pope Francis after he said he was concerned about the increased drug trafficking in his native Argentina, calling it Mexicanization. Pope Francis later apologized, calling his comment, quote, as dumb as a Guatemalan. <laughs> Researchers are developing a new breathalyzer that can detect if a person has recently smoked marijuana. They're calling it a nose. <laughs> Sony was hit by another cyber attack this week, which took its PlayStation network offline for hours, giving gamers a chance to finally go outside and get some fresh weed. <laughs> a teenager in Florida has been caught posing as a gynecologist for over a month. <laughs> Patients became suspicious when he began every appointment by asking, where is it? This year, Michael Jordan was added to Forbes magazine's list of billionaires. Forbes also added Scottie Pippen to their list of people who sell Forbes magazine. <laughs> Officials in England reburied remains of King Richard III after his bones were discovered underneath a parking lot three years ago. So this time, everyone remember, he's buried in C8. <laughs> 
For the first time in nearly 20 years, Tiger Woods is not ranked in the list of the top 100 golfers in the world. This according to a recent toast at an all-white country club. <laughs> Abercrombie & Fitch has announced plans to no longer hire employees based on attractiveness, which should make the first new guy they hire feel great. <laughs> After their recent fight, boxer Floyd Mayweather called Manny Pacquiao a coward for not accepting his loss and said there would be no rematch. Because if you want to fight Floyd Mayweather more than once, you have to date him. The group advocating replacing Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill with a woman announced that the winner of the poll for the new face of the currency is Harriet Tubman. It's a move that could have racists all over saying, can I get that in tens? <laughs> for the second year in a row, the happiest city in the country is Naples, Florida, while the least happy city is once again Puppy Funeral, Minnesota. <laughs> This poor doctor was dragged off an oversold flight to make room for United employees. United, your slogan is literally, fly the friendly skies. I can't think of anything less appropriate. That's like if Chipotle's slogan was, you're going to have an easy time on the toilet. <laughs> Officials in India are hoping to deal with the exploding monkey population by providing the monkeys with birth control. India, where they treat monkeys better than America treats women. <laughs> By the way, they, they had to use birth control pills because every time they tried to teach a monkey to put on a condom, it ate the banana. <laughs> a pipe over New York's Penn Station burst this week, raining down raw sewage on commuters. An event Penn Station commuters are calling an improvement. <laughs> Officials in a small town in China have given in to animal rights activists and made it illegal to sell dog meat. So, good news, animal lovers. Free dog meat! <laughs> the manager of an IHOP in Maine has apologized after a waiter asked a group of black teenagers to pay up front for their meal, which is weird because most people who eat IHOP pay for it about two hours later. <laughs> A new study finds that bowhead whales perform jazz-like improvisations when singing, which explains why all the other whales hate them. <laughs> Officials in Colorado are searching for the man who was reportedly harassing a moose by chasing it down the street. Said the man, I like my girls thick. <laughs> A California man was arrested after being accused of waterboarding his wife. Still no word on where the remote control is. <laughs> Eight police officers in Argentina were fired after more than a ton of marijuana disappeared from a warehouse and they claimed it was eaten by mice. For reference, this is what a mouse who ate one ton of marijuana would look like. <laughs> Police in Philadelphia say that a six-year-old girl in a kindergarten class discovered a bag of cocaine in another student's backpack. The student was bringing the cocaine in for a show and tell, tell, tell! <laughs> that's a nice one. That was nice. That's a sweet one. That was a sweet Kids one. on cocaine, that's yeah, sweet. That's really sweet. A new survey shows that the state with the most marijuana use is Rhode Island, which explains Rhode Island's official state motto, but if it's an island, where does the road go? <laughs> I like that she picked up her hat for the breakup. A mother, a mother in Indiana was arrested after students at an elementary school were exposed to marijuana-laced gummies that she had brought to the school. Teachers became suspicious at recess when the kids tried to sync up Dark Side of the Moon with Paw Patrol. <laughs> Carson Daly announced that he would be ending his show Last Call with Carson Daly after discovering that he was still on TV. <laughs> a man who was sentenced to life for murder at age 17 has been released from prison at the age of 74. The man says he can't wait to see his friends and family, but what he misses the most is murdering. <laughs> A new survey lists the best city to live in in the country as Boise, Idaho, while the worst city was once again Rat Orgy, Delaware. <laughs> this week marks the 10th anniversary of the same-sex dating app Grindr, which has all but replaced the old way of finding discreet gay hookups, church camp. <laughs> Microsoft.
Microsoft has announced plans to open a flagship store on New York's Fifth Avenue, just blocks away from the Apple Store. That's the Microsoft Store, as in the line for the Apple Store starts all the way back at the Microsoft Store. <laughs> Tomorrow will mark the final Major League Baseball game for Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter. Jeter retires after 20 seasons, 260 home runs, over 3,400 hits, and all the ass. <laughs> A new restaurant is opening in Philadelphia that will pay its waiters $13 an hour, but will not allow customers to tip them. The no tipping policy has been in effect for years among its black customers. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's a myth. Black people tip. I tip like 65% of the time. <laughs> a nurse in New Jersey won a Lay's potato chip contest by creating the new flavor of wasabi ginger, which sounds less like a chip flavor and more like something Joe Biden would accidentally call the Chinese ambassador. <laughs> Former presidents Bill Clinton and George W. Bush spent the week teasing each other on social media, with Clinton asking how Bush isn't on Twitter yet, and Bush asking how Clinton wasn't on Instagram, all while Jimmy Carter once again spent his week plowing through Tinder. <laughs> at, this year's, at this year's International Water Tasting Contest, Hamilton, Ohio won for having the best tasting water, while the town with the worst tasting water is Dukeville, Illinois. <laughs> The day of the week with the most workplace murders is Monday. This according to a really dark Snapple cap. <laughs> For the first time in five years, the price of oil fell below $60 a barrel, which is so low that it's also a pretty good deal on barrels. <laughs> A New Hampshire man was arrested for child endangerment after he left his twin nine-year-old nephews home alone for days at a time. Said one of the twins, we used to be triplets. <laughs> Justin Bieber this week turned 21 years old, but his mustache thinks he turned 13. <laughs> store in Los Angeles has created a 440 pound peanut butter cup. It's called CeeLo. <laughs> ABC is denying that Barbara Walters wants to replace Rosie O'Donnell with Monica Lewinsky on The View. Said an ABC spokesman, we have not had contractual relations with that woman. <laughs> Maybe an oral agreement, but that doesn't count. The first museum in America dedicated entirely to slavery has opened on a former sugar plantation in Louisiana, said one museum employee. Help! This ain't no damn museum! <laughs> Yesterday, I asked my mother to send me a picture that I could show of her on national TV, and she is still in the salon right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you the look that she's probably going for. It's... <laughs> China has banned its soldiers from wearing the new Apple Watch over concerns of cybersecurity, said one Chinese soldier, but my daughter made it for me. <laughs> Last week was World Orphan Week, so to all you orphans out there, better luck next year. <laughs> A woman in Australia gave birth to a 13-pound baby, completely ruining her down under. <laughs> Doctors say it has left her with what you might call a bloomin' onion. Sorry. <laughs> a company in Canada has created new software that can mimic anyone's voice and get it to say anything. So I guess I'll finally be able to hear my dad say, I'm proud of you. <laughs> A new poll shows that Dwayne The Rock Johnson would beat Donald Trump in a hypothetical race for president. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. The Rock would also beat his longtime rival, Dwayne The Scissors Johnson. <laughs> According to a new study, people who stay up late at night are more likely to have psychological disorders and an increased risk of dying. So if you're watching this live right now, I'll see your crazy ass in hell.
The Boy Scouts of America agreed this week to allow girls into their organization, because somebody's got to sew those badges on. Now, again, <laughs> these jokes are offensive, and that's why we won't tell them on air. Police arrested a man who set his bicycle down at an intersection, dropped his pants, and started dancing, which, as far as I know, might be what CrossFit is. <laughs> Police arrested a man after he pulled his car to the side of the road and started having sex with it. That man, you guessed it, Matthew McConaughey. So I'm saying... Katy Perry's fashion line has discontinued a shoe after criticism that it resembled blackface. But I don't know, it doesn't even really resemble a shoe. If anyone should be mad about this, it's Mrs. Potato Head. Two people in Alabama were arrested after getting into a fight at a restaurant over crab legs at a buffet, which coincidentally is also the image on Alabama's state flag. McDonald's has announced plans for new digital menus at their drive throughs that will offer customers suggestions based on what they ordered. For example, if you order a salad, it will suggest you stop kidding yourself. Jimmy Carter... <laughs> Jimmy Carter celebrated his 90th birthday this week, as usual, by snorting peanut dust off a hooker's ass. <laughs> A writer for Orange is the New Black said that working on the show made her realize that she was gay, while watching what goes on in that woman's prison reminded me that I am not. <laughs> Buddy Velastro, the star of the reality show Cake Boss, was arrested in Manhattan on charges of drunk driving and allegedly told officers, you can't arrest me, I'm the cake boss. <laughs> Which might have worked if those officers were cakes. <laughs> a Pennsylvania college student has made a fully functional Batman costume that can withstand punches, machetes, and baseball bats. He's just like the real Batman, except his parents only wish they were dead. <laughs> Amazon this week launched a line of diapers that they say offer parents a new level of transparency about the material used to make them. Because if there's one thing people want in a diaper, it's transparency. <laughs> McDonald's has released a video online to prove that chicken McNuggets are made out of real chicken. And not, as the taste suggests, pigeons that committed suicide. <laughs> Police in Nebraska arrested a man for marijuana possession after discovering the drug in his car inside a container that was marked not weed. <laughs> was marked not weed. The police pulled the man over after he sped by their car, which was also marked not police. Researchers in China have developed shape-shifting liquid metal machines, while researchers here in the U.S have developed a breakfast sandwich with the hash browns on the inside. <laughs> An elementary school student who was interviewing President Obama cut the president off while he was giving his answer, saying, I think you've sort of covered everything about that question, followed by, you mumbling Kenyan. <laughs> it's a rough class. <laughs> During a concert in Vancouver, U2 guitarist The Edge fell off the stage. So I guess you could say the edge was walking too close to the border of that stage. <laughs> a restaurant in Texas has created a controversy by putting pictures of Bruce Jenner on the men's room door and Caitlyn Jenner on the women's room door. Mm. Even worse, they called the handicap door Rob. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't do that, Joe. You can't do that. You can't do that on TV. A woman in China was arrested after she cut off her husband's penis, then later went to the hospital where it had been reattached and cut it off a second time. <laughs> you see, that kind of work ethic is exactly why China is beating the U.S. <laughs> a man in Europe went to the hospital for a routine procedure and was mistakenly given a circumcision instead. 
It sounds bad, but he's lucky because Europeans usually don't leave a tip. <laughs> Officials with the Staten Island Zoo are denying reports that a groundhog used in this year's Groundhog Day ceremony died after Mayor Bill de Blasio dropped it. Said officials, it was really more the stepping on it. A Delaware woman was arrested after her four-year-old daughter found packets of heroin in her bag, then passed them out to the other children in her daycare class. But on the bright side, those kids are now fantastic blues musicians. <laughs> At a press conference this week, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said the doctor diagnosed with Ebola is now cured, adding that New York City is Ebola-free. We'll see about that, said Times Square Elmos. The Girl Scouts have announced that for the first time, their cookies will be available for sale on the Internet. The way it works is you contact the Girl Scout on the Internet, and then cookies are waiting for you in prison. <laughs> In a recent interview, Texas Governor Rick Perry said that running for the presidency is not an IQ test. Of course it's not an IQ test, and it's also not a lie detector test, or an ethics test, or a foot race. <laughs> Scientists who discovered 107-year-old beers in a shipwreck off the coast of Finland opened two of the bottles and drank them, at which point they made another discovery. They're both alcoholics. <laughs> Tomorrow is Easter Sunday, so to all you Christians out there, happy Easter. And to the Jews, nice try. <laughs> A nail salon in Queens <laughs> called Isis Nails has finally changed its name after suffering harassment from locals who thought the store was connected to the terrorist group. <laughs> Though I don't know how much better things will be with their new name, Nail Qaeda. <laughs> Pablo Picasso's Women of Algiers was sold for a record-setting $179 million. But I can get you a picture of lopsided titties for way less than that. <laughs> Tomorrow's Mother's Day, so don't forget to call your mama, because I won't. <laughs> According to a new study, the antidepressant Paxil may also be capable of treating heart disease which explains Paxil's new slogan, Paxil, maybe this is what it does? <laughs> a British cafe has introduced a new breakfast called the Hibernator, which is 8,000 calories and contains bacon, sausage, cheese omelets, waffles, toast, black pudding, and beans. And if you're able to finish the entire thing, they'll even make a plaque with your name on it. <laughs> A shepherd in Germany has discovered a rare geep, which is a sheep-goat hybrid. It's believed to be the first sheep-goat hybrid to be discovered since Kid Rock. <laughs> <laughs> a theme park in England has banned all single people from entering the park to protect children from possible pedophiles. So let this be a lesson to all you pedophiles out there. Start working in teams. <laughs> A new art class is being offered in Colorado, which people openly smoke marijuana and paint. The class is called Every Art Class. A debate has renewed in the Netherlands this week over the country's Christmas tradition of Black Peter, who is a black-faced assistant to white St. Nicholas. I don't know how the debate turned out, because once I googled the words Black Peter, work took away my internet. A new guidebook lists the best tourist destination in the country as Queens, New York, this according to a recent misprint. <laughs> according to an annual ranking by Orkin Pest Control, the places in America with the worst bed bug problems are Chicago, Detroit, and your mama. <laughs> according to a new study, about 15% of two-year-olds in Boston drink as much as four ounces of coffee a day. But Boston kids need that coffee to help them get through their hangovers. <laughs> the parents
parents of a six-year-old Indonesian boy who is addicted to smoking say that he is cut down to five cigarettes a day. Now, that's very impressive, considering how stressed he's been at the sneaker factory. <laughs> Swedish peace activists are trying to deter Russian submarines by using a sonar system that broadcasts pro-gay messages, which is also a pretty good description of Bravo. <laughs> Pennsylvania police arrested a one-armed woman who was trying to rob a bank. Police say the hardest part was figuring out how to handcuff her. Now that's, that's just... <laughs> No, you can't say that. Can't say that. <laughs> the creator of the Home Shopping Network died this week at the age of 79, or just four easy installments of 1999. <laughs> a regional airport in South Carolina was shut down for several hours after a woman was found wandering the grounds almost completely naked. Well, except for her landing strip. <laughs> And police in New York arrested a man who faked his own abduction and robbery to avoid paying the 50 grand he owed in a Super Bowl pool. Worse, the man had just lost his job on Empire. A woman in Utah survived after her SUV got stuck in the snow and mud for nearly a week. The woman says she couldn't have made it without her children. Her delicious, delicious <laughs> children. Police in Austria report that more than one million bees have been stolen from a local park. Or, and hear me out, they just flew away. <laughs> the New York Daily News published an editorial calling for New York to legalize marijuana, saying that the current laws primarily hurt people of color. But since it is the Daily News, the headline read, Pot cigs catch nigs. <laughs> now, <laughs> Went better than when I did it. Uh, Jeff, <laughs> a new marijuana spray called Foria will go on sale next week and promises to help women have better sex. This according to Foria CEO, Will Wasby. <laughs> a new study shows that Beaumont, Texas is the least educated city in the country. Oh man, wait until they don't read about this. <laughs> A new report reveals that the average length of a man's flaccid penis is 36 inches. Wait a 3.6. Never saw this before. 3.6, that's more reasonable. A guy can dream. A new study shows that a 45-minute nap in the middle of the day can enhance a person's memories. Memories like, oh, right, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Nevada's famed Moonlight Bunny Ranch brothel is searching for a quality control tester who will be paid to have sex with prostitutes and rate their performance. The prostitutes will be graded on a scale from F to don't F. <laughs> In the first address ever by a Japanese leader to Congress, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe offered condolences for Americans killed during World War II. Abe then asked, so you guys have anything from World War II that you want to apologize for? A group of astronomers have calculated the distance to a galaxy as more than 13 billion light years away, which is the most distant galaxy ever measured. It's so distant, the astronomers have given it the nickname, Dad. <laughs> it was reported that a Taco Bell in Chicago may soon start selling alcohol, which is weird because usually it's alcohol that sells Taco Bell. <laughs> it was revealed that Tyler Perry is expecting his first child with his girlfriend. Perry is reported to be very excited about being a grandmother. <laughs> British prosecutors are now saying that anyone caught posting revenge porn could face up to 14 years in prison. So you better not post that video we made, Pippa. <laughs> TLC has canceled the reality show Here Comes Honey Boo Boo after it was reported that Mama June is dating a convicted sex offender, even though convicted sex offender is the show's key demographic. <laughs> Police in New Jersey are searching for an African gray parrot that was stolen from a local zoo. 
Of course, in New Jersey, an African gray parrot is just a pigeon in a dashiki. <laughs> Police in Seattle say a woman was knocked unconscious after she was hit by an egg thrown from a car that sped away. So she never even heard the driver's warning to stay out of chicken town. <laughs> While playing in a tournament in South Africa, pro golfer Luke Donald was chased off the course by a charging baboon. <laughs> nice try, golf, but you're still boring. <laughs> According to a new study, teenage boys are just as vicious as teenage girls when it comes to rumors and making nasty comments. The study was conducted by my high school yearbook photo. <laughs> Ireland's Minister of Health this week announced that he is gay, becoming the first openly gay government figure in Irish history. Of course, in Ireland, gay just means you have less than eight kids. <laughs> A new study finds that New York City rats <laughs> contain fleas that are capable of transmitting the bubonic plague. It's a rare black eye for the otherwise sterling reputation <laughs> of the fleas on New York City rats. <laughs> Louisiana police arrested a man for shooting his 18-year-old son during an argument over orange juice. It's considered the second worst crime that OJ is responsible for. <laughs> A woman in Brooklyn gave birth in the back of an Uber car on the way to the hospital. This according to a zero-star review from the next passenger. <laughs> it was reported that students in a school district in Tennessee were served meat that was six years old. Which raises the question, where's Tyler? <laughs> Tyler's not real. The first <laughs> round. <laughs> a Tennessee woman celebrated her 21st birthday by performing 21 acts of kindness on people she had never met, which is the most polite way that I've ever heard that put. <laughs> a newly hired Boston University professor caused controversy after she called white males the problem population. The professor apologized, saying, quote, I'm as sorry as some basic-ass Latina. <laughs> the co-founder of the Waffle House passed away this week at the age of 97. He died the way so many Waffle House patrons have, a knife fight in the parking lot. <laughs> a new study finds that infants start to show racist tendencies between six and nine months of age. And by the time they're two, they're already yelling at Dora to speak English. <laughs> McDonald's has introduced a new utensil called the fork, which is a fork made with french fries. It's a perfect way to tell your arteries to go fork themselves. <laughs> the winner of America's best license plate is New Mexico's chili capital of the world plate, while the worst is New Jersey's da fu you looking at. <laughs> Jocelyn Wildenstein, the plastic surgery obsessed woman known as Catwoman, has filed for bankruptcy. But don't worry about Jocelyn. From the looks of her, this is one cat who always lands on her face. Oh, <laughs> Three rhinos at a zoo in Israel escaped after a guard fell asleep, starring Kevin James. Hey, Batman turns 80 years old this month, which explains his new arch nemesis, Jamaican nurse. 